All right, my spiritual crew, tap in. For all my people that's in tune with their self, understand the power that they possess, the power that they hold. Understand the power of mudras and meditation. Tap in right now. If you close minded, not willing to expand and open your mind and understand the power that you hold as a person and that the power that whatever you want to call them God Joshua Whoever is your spiritual teacher, whoever you believe in, if you don't understand that you possess these powers and these traits, you're closed-minded, you're not willing to open your mind and span, think for yourself, I suggest you move on right now because this is absolutely not for you. But... For the people that do understand, here you go. So again, we're going to tap into the healing power of mudras, aka meditation. So let's talk about it. The thumb represents fire, the four finger air, the middle finger sky, the third or rain finger earth, and the four finger water. The thumb is fire. The four fingers air. Middle finger is ether. The ring finger is earth. The little finger is water. Hold up, we not done. We got more. Let's get into it. Bend a little and rain fingers so that their tips touch the tip of the thumb. As simple as that, the benefits include the increase in the life force, improvement in eyesight, blood circulation, and immune function. Put the tips of the thumb and little finger together. He says it will cure impurities of the blood and skin and stomach problems. Gently touch the thumb with the index finger. This will help in improving the power of the mind. The mudra, the little finger, should touch the amount of the thumb, and the thumb should touch the little finger. This mudra is good for water retention in the body. Mudras can be done standing, sitting, and even walking. So when you're doing meditation practices, those that know, you don't have to be sitting still with your eyes closed. You could be doing anything. Long as you understand the power of your mind, what you possess and what you put in it, that's what you create. Then you understand the possession, the power that your mind holds. Touch the middle finger with the thumb and increases the person's intuition, cures calcium deficiency, tooth and ear problems. Yoga Kumar insists that any disease can be cured through mudras. He said that he has treated asthma, arthritis, cardiac problems, kidney diseases, sexual problems, migraines, back complaints, and even the dreaded and largely incurable blood cancer. No medicines are needed and the cure is 100%. Understand the power you possess, people. Some interesting facts. All godly and superhuman persons like Lord Mahiva, Buddha, 
and others will remain in these moods. Moods are simply yogic functions with enormous significance. Detailed description of mudras are found in Tantra, Shastra, and several other Asian tr treatises. Mudras can bring about miraculous changes and improvement in our body. Mudras generate power to provide peace and happiness. Mudras are miraculous remedies. They provide instant relief in many illnesses. Mudras can cure almost any ailment from simple ear ache to heart attack. Mudras help in molding the physical, mental, and even the moral aspects of an individual. Some mudras can balance the elements of the body within 45 minutes while others act within a few seconds. Practice of some mudras on a regular basis can cure insomnia, arthritis, and memory loss. Mudras bring about a fundamental revision of the destructive change in the human body. They also develop PD and a courteous disposition. Mudras help in Kudalini Yoga to awaken the cosmic energy. As you can see, people, the power of meditation does a lot. So what I'm going to do for y'all is let's talk about it. I'm going to show y'all for example, one of these mudras, right? So, every way you make your hand, hand gestures and stuff, they all mean something. As you can see right here. That's one example of one. You know what? Let's get even more detailed. We're going to flip through this page, this book. I read to say. Make sure if you enter this spiritual knowledge that I'm sharing with y'all right now that you make sure you grab this book if you don't already have it. For example, right? Look at this. This is an example of an asthma mudra, right? So you do your hands like this when you want a remedy for that problem. And to top it off, to make it even more powerful, get into the more spirituality side of it, there's frequencies out here that you can listen to. Certain Hertz frequencies, I believe the rapper, uh, before he ascended, XX Tentacion spoke on frequencies and music and how the frequency taps into and plays on your soul and carry certain vibrations and frequencies that can do a many of things, such as cure some, give you some remedy, uh, certain beats and sounds can make you angry. They can make you cry. Um, it's a number of things, but I just wanted to share this with y'all. Share some light on this. Understand the power that you possess within yourself. Just by tapping into your mind and the spiritual side of things and understand what you possess, what you hold, and who you are as a person on this earth. So, I'm out. Till next time, catch y'all in the next one. Peace.